Hey, Jose, what's up? Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm pretty you... well. You? I'm good, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold on, give me one second. Okay. Can you hear me now? Everything good? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Hold on, please. One second, hold on. Okay. So how are you? I'm pretty good. How was your how was your day today? It was very tired because I was driving all day. You were driving all day work for work? Yes. Um with my family too. Oh, okay. Where did you go? Uh, I went to San Salvador, a Popa and Aguilares. Okay. Is there is there a lot of traffic in um in La Palma? No, not really. Uh, because the La Palma is like a town, mm -hmm. for example, and there aren't a lot of cars. That's so cool because here it's horrible. Yes. Uh, you, 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 where are you from? I live in San Salvador. I live by um, Paso del Jaguar. Do you know that? Ah, uh, yes. In the morning, the traffic is too, too strong. Yes. Too hard. Hold on, let me check. I'm trying to open the portal. I don't know why I always have problems opening the portal.
Hold on, give me one second, please. Hold on, open up, open up. Okay. Okay, good. So now I see Dennis is here, Boris is here, Suma is here. It's incredible how hot it is today, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. What happened to the rain? It's not going to rain or what? I think the, the chai, the chai phenomenal. What is that phenomenon? Uh, well, uh, the people that uh, talking about the weather, they say that uh, we're going to have uh, uh, a bit rains, a little rains. Um, when rains, it's going to rain a lot, but only uh, for a short time. Okay. Well, it's true because it, it has rained a lot. Yesterday it was I was reading in the news that uh, we had to prepare for this year and the next that uh, we're going to have a a hotter weather. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, some people say that uh, we had to prepare uh, taking some food and keep in the, in the house because uh, all the, I don't know how to say it, uh, uh, cultivos? All the harvest. Uh, the harvest is going to be bad. Wow. Wow, that's amazing! And the organ, uh, the, the the institution of organis, uh, is that that is organis, uh, uh, yeah, so an organization of of the world, the FAO. The mm -hmm. FAO they mentioned it, that uh, we had to prepare because it's going to be hard uh, because all the the price is going to go out, go up, go up, yeah. Wow. Teacher, yes. um, here in Apopa, uh, I think it wants to rain. Oh. It feels cool breeze. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. You know, you know what? what? Yeah, I hope. You know one thing I, I used to like? I used to do when I lived alone? And I really like it. I like to get wet in the rain. So I remember I had, um, and when I lived alone, when I was single, I had a small apartment. And that apartment had like a little patio in the middle. And when it was raining very, very hard, I used to go to the patio and get wet. It was nice. <laughs> 
by now it's, it's difficult. All right. So, um, Dennis, how was your day today? Everything okay? Uh, I, I've been good. Uh, let's see. Actually, now that you are talking about uh, the harvest and stuff like that, mm -hmm. today I went to the, how do you say agro servicio? Well, that, let me find out for you right now. I, I well, wanted that, 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 that store. Mm -hmm. That store. I am, this is the second time that I plant uh, corn at my house. I have a field and it, it's like four, four meters. I think, no, let's see. Four, four times is 16 meters, 16 quarter meters. Okay. Uh, there is a field that I'd used to plant. This is the second time that I plant, but it seems that there is a, a bug that is eating the, the plant, the corn plant. So I went to, to that store to purchase something to kill the, the, the bug. This is only for, I don't know, I wanna, I wanna learn how to plant. And what do you plant? Uh, corn. Corn. Oh, okay. The first time it didn't work. You know, the, 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 the house that I live now, it used to be my, my grandfather's house. So mm -hmm. after, after he passed away, my mother uh, got the, this house. Well, the, the field, the, the property. And then she gave me the property and I built my house here, but it has a, the graveyard is very, is, is big, a little bit big. And there is a field where he used to plant corn. So I'm trying to learn that I have tomato also. So you do it like uh, for a hobby. Yeah, exactly. Like a hobby. It's good. You know, my yeah. kids love to do that. Uh, with me and as I mentioned before I, this is the second time that I'm doing this so last year it didn't work I think because there were too many trees uh, the shadow from the trees uh, didn't help the plants so now I just cut off the the that part of the trees that used to make shadow to the to the corn plants and I think that this time is gonna work, but now I am facing that 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 issue with the with this bug that is eating the the, the... how do you see it? do you say your hojas? plantation my plantation exactly, but the las hojas is they are eating the las hojas the and leaves I, the leaves exactly and yesterday after the class i started watching videos at youtube uh, to see what happened what's going on and i found that this is a bug and today i went to that store and they told me okay this is this is what you need so uh, hopefully tomorrow i'm gonna apply this poison and they told me that it is gonna kill the this bug so yeah hopefully uh in two months i think that i'm gonna have current I will be very <laughs> successful. Yeah, it's it's my hobby, you know, with the tomatoes. I think that I am having success because I have already like 15 tomatoes and they are already big yeah. in, in a normal size. So I'm just waiting for them to get red and I'm going to eat them. It's, it's very interesting. You know, I work at home and mm -hmm. I have a lot of free time. So I'm sorry, where, where do you say you live? I'm sorry. Where, where do you live? San Martin City. San Martin, yeah. But do you live like in the city or or outside the city? No, I live in the city, like two blocks downside the the Central Park. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. And you work in home in, in home, you said. Yeah. Yeah, I work at home. Hey, that's nice. So you don't you don't really need to leave San Martin. I'm sorry? You don't really need to leave San Martin, right? 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's good, it's good to live here. Uh, the, the, the city has good, good things and bad things. I think that the city needs a lot of different things and they need to improve a lot of different things, but, but yeah, it's beautiful. The lake is very close. Yeah. So I, what, I, I love. What I like about the San Martin Park is that there's a lot of restaurants. And this in the Gold Street, yeah. No, wait, no, no, by the San Martin Park, no. Mm, no. Well, I, I remember a long time ago there used to be like tacos, pupusas, and oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But there... restaurants like like big restaurants. Oh no. No. Local restaurants. Local restaurant, yeah. There was a there was a place that sold Chinese food very good. Really? But if I but it wasn't it was it was local. I think that is no longer there. I haven't seen a Chinese. It was like two blocks from the market. Mm, no, but I think that is no longer there. Oh, okay. It doesn't exist, but because I haven't seen uh, a Chinese restaurant here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, class. So yesterday we were doing regrets, wishes and regrets, right? One wish right now is I wish it would rain. <laughs> I wish it, I really wish it would rain, but it doesn't rain. That's a song. I wish well, it would Phil rain. Feel calling. How, how I wish it would rain now down on me. Oh, yeah, it's true. Have you seen how Phil Collins is in this moment? No. He's in terrible condition. Oh. He can't walk. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's an old man now. Yeah, he's old. So you never did it, let me know wrong. I remember that song now. How how I wish it would rain. Yeah, I, I remember that song. Sure, I remember that some people uh, say to their girlfriend, hey, I... Uh, I dedicate this song for you. It's uh, another day in paradise. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, <laughs> when uh, I realize that what mean that song, mm -hmm. nothing uh, to see, nothing to see. Oh, yeah, no, it has nothing to do with love. <laughs> no, there's another song. People used to dedicate the Wind of Change from the Scorpions. Remember, take me to the legend of the moment. And that's not a romantic song. The, I remember that song uh, is for the the Berlin Wall, I think. It was no, it was it was actually for Russia. It was it was for Russia, but then because they are from Germany, the Scorpions, they adapted that song for Germany, but actually the song the song is um from Russia. If you pay attention to the lyrics, Corky Park, he mentions a lot of places of Russia. Yeah, I think in Russia that park. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a big park. Mm -hmm. It's a very good song, actually. It's a very good song. All right, let me share my screen with you. Hold on, let me see. Dun, 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 Mr. Postman. Did you go watch Barbie today? <laughs> Are you going to go watch Barbie? I don't think so. Why not? I imagine I thought every girl was going to go watch that for nostalgia. Yes, I think some people think like that, but it is over. <laughs> I I went I went to watch the Transformers for nostalgia and they were terrible. 
I went to watch G.I. Joe and it was terrible. So I'm not I'm not going to watch any more remakes. The the remakes are terrible, man. <laughs> Did you like the Transformers? Not that much, actually. They were bad. I well, think no. that I have only seen the first one where Megan Fox appears. Yeah, me too. I only saw the first one and I don't need to see the rest. Mm -hmm. And actually for me, Barbie is the same. I will watch Barbie just because Margot Robbie, because she is oh, man. actually for her, her beauty. And also because she is a wonderful actress. She is. She's a yeah, very, very good actress. Did you see a movie? You know what movie I really, really like from her? I like Focus with Will Smith. Focus, but it's not the one where they uh, stole money. Yes. I, I mean, uh, son estafadores. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Of That's course. a good movie, man. I really like that movie. Yeah. And she's beautiful. Yeah. Really, really beautiful. All right. So do you see knowledge check? I believe somebody uh, I saw today, like five minutes ago, somebody was asking about 3.8. So it says instructions. Rewrite these sentences using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. When do we use a capital letter? I have, I wonder. Do you know in English when do we use a capital letter? Proper names. Okay, similar to Spanish, correct? When we start the pronoun, out. The pronounce I, I think. Yes, when you say I alone is um is capital after a period or the first letter of a sentence is a period, it's a capital. But aquí va una que it's not the same in Spanish. The days and the months in English, they're capital. So, for example, I went to the store on Tuesday. Tuesday is capital. I don't know why in Spanish it's not capital. It should be. Because Tuesday is a proper name. For example, uh, July. July in, in English is capital. In Spanish, no. Like, for example, podemos decir, today is... Hoy es 20 de julio. Y julio en minúscula, correct? In English, no. In English, the days of the month, um, the days of the week are always capital. O y títulos también. Por ejemplo, Blanca Nieve y los Siete Enanos. En español, ¿qué sería? Mayúscula. Solo la B y la N, ¿verdad? Blanca Nieves. In English, yes. in English is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Every word is capital. Cien años de soledad. In English, everything is capital. Every title. Okay, so this oh. is one, that's an FYI. That's for your information. So, example, look, I can't find the time to exercise. What is the correct? I, I wish I could. Mm -hmm. I wish I could find the time to exercise. Correct? Number two, my grades weren't very good last semester. What is the correct? Uh, 
only my grades have been better last semester. Yeah, if only my grades have been better last semester. Number three, it says, I don't know how to dance very well. I wish I knew how to dance well. Sometimes I wish I knew how to dance. For example, I wish I knew how to dance salsa. I like to see people dance salsa or bachata. But people that really can dance, like a Puerto Rican or Colombian dancing bachata, man. Wow, it's nice. Okay, number four, I didn't apply for that interesting job at work. I wish I had applied for that interesting job at work. I'm feeling very stressed these days. I wish I weren't feeling so stressed these days. I never learned how to swim when I was a child. If only I had learned how to swim when I was a child. I gave away all my old CDs and DVDs last summer. If only I hadn't given away my old CDs and DVDs last summer. I watched too much TV and didn't read through it through. Ah. I watched too much TV and didn't read enough when I was a kid. If only, if only I hadn't watched so much television and had read more when I was a little kid. Good. These on the street interviews. Can you hear? What values do these people think are important? Yes. Okay. Number the values in the order you hear them. We're back on the street for the Ask the People portion of our show. Today, our question is What values do you think are the most important and why? Now, I just have to find some people who are willing to talk to me. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Andy Simmons. I'm a reporter for WQZ, and we're on the air. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm on my way to work. This should just take a moment. Well, okay, but make it fast. Okay. We're asking people what they think are the most important values in today's society and why. Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess I think it's important to listen to your parents kids these days. My kids never listen to anything I say. Aha. Uh -huh. So you think it's important to respect your parents? That's right. Sorry. I've got to go. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, was he in a hurry. Miss, excuse me. Miss? Hello? Hmm? Yes? Do you have a second? I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. I'm doing a radio show. Uh-huh. Well, um, we're asking people on the street what values they think are important and why. I'm sorry, I don't really have much time. It'll just take a second. Okay, then. I don't know, I guess that honesty is important. You know what they say, honesty is the best policy. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I mean, you're just going to get in trouble if you're not honest. At least, that's been my experience. I see. Listen, I have to go. Thanks. Let's see if I can find one more person. Oops! Ouch! I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there behind me. Are you okay? No! You stepped on my toes. What are you doing standing here anyway? Well, actually, I'm interviewing people. I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. What's that? I'm Andy Simmons from the radio station WQZ. I'm doing on-the-street interviews. Oh, okay. We're asking people about values. What values do you think are most important in today's society? Privacy. I'd have to say privacy. I think people need to respect each other's privacy. Like right now. 
You really need to leave me alone. Huh. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, folks, that's all the time we have today for our show. Today's question was, what values do you think are important in today's society and why? After this experience, I'd have to say one thing we all need to work on is being kinder, especially to news reporters. This sure is a tough job. This is Andy Simmons of WQZ Radio signing off until next time. That's interesting. What values do you think are important right now that that today's children don't have? Respect. Yeah, I think respect. Respect is one. Okay, so it says... Listen to these on the street interviews. What values do these people think are important? Number the values in your order, in the order you hear them. So honesty is what? Honesty, which is number one? Honesty, privacy, or respect? Honesty is number two. Privacy? Three. Number three. Respect one. Okay, uh, we have Dennis Jose. Claudia and Boris. Dennis, can you do me a favor? Can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay. Um, it says, I started as a typical day for Wesley Autry, a 50 years old construction worker in New York City. Okay, it I'm sorry, about... it, but it doesn't say I started. It says it oh, started. It. Okay, let me start mm -hmm. over. No, it's okay. It, Sorry. it started as a, as a typical day for Wesley Autry, a 50 years old construction worker in New York City. It was about 12.45 p.m. and he, wa he was waiting on a subway platform to take his daughters home before he went to work. He suddenly noticed a man near nearby have convulsions and collapse. Mr. Audrey and two women went to help the stranger. The man Cameron Paulo Peter managed to get to his feet, but then stumbled at the edge of the platform and fell onto the subway tracks. Mr. Audrey looked up and saw the lights of the subway train approaching through the tunnel mm -hmm. approaching huh? uh, approaching through the tunnel should i tunnel. continue with that yes please do okay tunnel and, when, is and when you want to stop please you choose the next victim choose claudia boris or jose okay so what would you do? Stand horrified and watch helplessly? Most people will jump in to help, but only if there were no train inside, Mr. Audrey act quickly. He leaped down onto the track. He realized that he didn't have time to get Mr. Hollow Peter and himself back up on the platform before the train arrived. So he laid on top of the man and press down as hard as he could. Okay, oh so God. I'm gonna choose Claudia Maria Guerrero. Okay. Uh, First of all, do you have questions? No. 
okay? Although the driver tries to stop the train before it reaches them, he couldn't. Five cars passes over them before the train finally stopped. The cars had passed only inches from his head. His first words were to ask the onlookers to tell his daughter he was okay. New York loves a hero, and there was no question that Mr. Audrey's actions has been just. I can see it, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about now? Yes. Just that. Heroic. He mm -hmm. became an overnight sensation. People couldn't get enough of the story. The media named him the Subway Superman. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg have gave him the bronze medal. Med Medal. Medal. The city's highest honor. In the past, this honor has gone to such people as General Douglas MacArthur, Martin Luther King Jr., and Muhammad Ali. He was also asked to appear on several high profile television talk shows. And then I choose Sulma. Imagine that, nice, son. Huh? Okay. His selfie bravery was also rewarded with money and gift. Among other things, Mr. Howren received ten thousand uh, dollars from Donald Trump and five thousand dollar gift card from the Gap Clothing store and new jeep ticket and Back backstage faces to the next Beyond concert <clears throat> and the free one year's public transit pass a Disney ambassador ambassador thank, ambassador thank him with one week's all expense paid to trip the Disney World and ticket to see the lion Hi, on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Jose is here. How did Audrey? Oh, continue. Okay, Jose, Jose, continue. Okay. Read the last part. Well, you know what? Finish it, Claudia. It's just one last paragraph. Okay, let me finish it. Okay, how did uh how did Autry, a Navy veteran, react to all this? Honorably. He said, I don't feel like I did any anything spectacular. I just saw someone who ended who needed help. I did what I felt was right. Okay, so Jose, tell me what happened. Can you can you resume the story for me, please? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, uh, I can understand that uh, Mr. Outry uh, helps to someone, and uh, that's the people uh, collapse. I I can read that, and for this action, he he gave to him uh, many gifts and money for Donald Trump and many other rewards. Rewards. Reward. Okay. It, you know that just that that um uh one week in Disneyland. Wow. That's that's good.
Okay, so then this is well this this is what we're going to do tomorrow. So listen, um has a similar story happened here? Or has this ever happened to you that you needed to help somebody? I don't remember about the similar story in the in El Salvador. Maybe, maybe that there could be similar story, but to get so famous like uh like this man, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, this man did become very famous. Hold on, let me check one thing here. I'm looking for something. Watch, let me share this with you. Can you excuse me one moment? I will be back. One moment. Okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was talking to myself. Did you? Can you check the chat, please? Did you receive that 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 picture? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to send you some interesting things. Hold on. Where is this? Okay, here goes one. 
Tell me if you receive it, please. And then you'll see what I'm going to do. In the same chat, in the Zoom chat? Yes, in the in the Zoom chat, but hold on, I'm sending it right now. Do you see it? What did you get? The first one is parts of a car. Uh -huh, and then okay, the second, the second one. one. Okay, now look, this is important. This is the explanation. The, the first picture era para ver si lo recibían. <laughs> but that's important. It's part of a car. Yes. Okay, now the second picture is connectors, correct? Now listen, yes. these are the explanations. Man, it's too long. Can't believe it's saying it's too long. It doesn't let me. It's not too long. Here, let me bring that. Well, that, I'm, I'm modifying it because it, me dice soon that it's too long, okay? So don't worry, I will. So what do you see there in connectors? What do you mean? What words do you see? Oh. Uh, so, therefore, has a result, uh, hence, furthermore, in addition, however, but besides, also, even though, okay, good. however, whenever. Okay, so look, I'm going to send it to you by parts, so I want you to modify it, okay? Okay. Here is the explanation of connectors. This is part one. Do you see this? Can you read that for Can you read that for me, Boris? Or Jose, can you read that for me, please? In the chat. Yeah, sure. Uh... Okay, connectors. We use connector to join two parts of a sentence like this. He is difficult to talk to because he is partly deaf. Deaf. Because deaf. Sorry. Because is the connector here. Sometimes the connectors come at the beginning of the sentence because he is Partly that he is difficult to talk to. There are some connectors that are used used in the following sentence construction with a semicolon. The food was tasty, however, it was not healthy. Here are some more commonly used connectors. Um, Jose, can you give me an example of a tasty food that is not healthy? Uh, for example, uh, hamburger, for example. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to say pupusas. <laughs> I think that's the number one. It's so good, but it's not healthy. Okay, good. So here's the second part. This is very interesting. Look. This will explain a lot.
So when we say a consequence, you use so, therefore, as a result of, hence, consequently. Yes? No? Sorry, sorry. What was the question? Um, um, these, for example, look, look, read the first one. When we, es, todos esos connectors, so, therefore, as a result, consequently, and hence, they all are a consequence. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Hence, what is the meaning? I was waiting for that question. Let me give you an example right now. Hence, I'm gonna, hence, really, I would say yes, por lo tanto. Um, okay. Let me give you an example. Children today think they know everything. The young people today, they think they know. Correct? Teenagers? But in 10 years, hence, they will think differently. Do you understand that example? Hence? Aunque no muy común, Claudia, pero just in case. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Can it you sounds give... like a therefore. Yeah, it's a consequence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every time you see so, therefore, as a result, consequently, hence, um, let me, let me give you, I'm sorry, but let me give you a stupid example, okay? My brother, or I'm sorry, I had sexual relations with my girlfriends with no protection. Yes? So, what do you think is the consequence? So maybe in eight, uh, maybe in what, nine, nine months hence, I will have a baby. Well, she will have a baby. Y todos me van a decir, well, it's your responsibility. Therefore, you have to be a man and be responsible. Correct. Next, we have additional information. The connector song and in addition or furthermore. Next, we have contrasting information. What do you think is contrasting information? Like comparing? Yeah. Or like giving another side. Yes. Mm, the, the opposite. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're saying that you're giving a... Yeah, maybe like a different story or a different, you're contrasting. Mm -hmm. And then you have conditional information, if, even if, unless, whenever, and however. Eso se los quería dar cuando estábamos haciendo even if and unless, remember? Here, let me send you one more. Hold on, give me one second.
Okay, tell me if you see the picture. Do you see faces of contrast? Yes. Wait, quiero ver si lo puedo poner in my whiteboard. Hold on. I think I can. Shape, let me see. Dum, dum. Sticky notes. No, I'm going to go old school. Let me go old school with this. Bueno, saben que? I'm going to share. Tell me if you see it. I can't porque es de Facebook, por eso que no. Do you see my 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 screen? Yes. yes. Okay, now these are empathetic adjectives. Do you see where it says empathetic adjectives? Do you know what empathy is? Yes. What is the difference? Many people get confused with empathy and sympathy. What is the difference? Do you, what, what is the difference between empathy and sympathy? I would say like um Sympathy is like when I like someone, when I, yeah, when I like someone. And okay, uh, can you invent a problem in this? Tell me if I ask you, hey, how are you? Say, oh, I'm bad. And then tell me just a quick explanation why you're bad. So, how are you? So, I, I'm bad. Why? What happened? Because I got fired today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, is that empathy or? I think that is sympathy. Or empathy. Why is it sympathy? Because you didn't. No, I'm not sure, you know, because maybe you have feel or you have tried to feel how I feel about this. So that will be empathy. Yes. Okay, good. So that's very important. Empathy is when you relate to the person. Okay? Empathy is when you relate to the person. Sympathy is when you feel sorry for the person. So when okay. I told when I told you, "Oh, I'm sorry." That was really empathy. I'm sorry, sympathy. And sometimes that's bad. Porque alguien le puede decir, what do you mean I'm sorry? You don't know what I'm ha what's happening. Now, if you tell me, if you would have had told me, um, si yo te pregunto, what's wrong? And he says, oh, because I got fired. And I'd say, oh, man, I'm so sorry. That happened to me last week. I understand how you feel. Now, that's empathy. Because I relate to you. Lo, okay. que lo que trabajan en un call center, esto uh, es very important para ventas. Eh. Okay, so let me share now. No va a ser vieja escuela. Okay, do you see my screen? <laughs> Yes. yes. 
Okay, here's the explanation. Black. No, oh, let's keep it white. Let's keep it white and why can't I erase that? Hmm. Okay, so we have phrases of contrast, like, unlike, different, look at the difference, different and difference, yet, however, though, although, nevertheless, on the other hand, Conversely and in contrast, for example, let's look at some language that can be used to contrast two things. Let me fix this right now. Es que saben a mí lo que, lo que me, me molesta bastante que como yo soy el host, la pantalla de ustedes me parece, entonces la tengo que estar moviendo cada rato y me bloquea lo que estoy viendo. Ok, queremos sí, ya. The hell, man. No me deja ponerlo. Ah. Okay. Esta es la misma que tienen en el chat, esta foto, ¿verdad? Contrast. Uh, right now you are not sharing no, oh, a photo. Or on the Zoom, on the Zoom, on the Zoom chat. Mm. Do you have phrases of contrast? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to, here's the first part. Do you see that? It says, let's look at some language that can be used to contrast two things, like and unlike. We can use these at the beginning or near the end of a sentence. Example, like Texas, Alaska is a large state. Unlike Hawaii, Texas is a large state. Can you give me an example like that with Israel and El Salvador? Who can give me an example? Mm, I, I could try it. Okay, um, Chalatenango is cold, unlike San Miguel. Okay, good. Okay, oh, okay, good. So we understand that San Miguel is hot. No, you guys see like, um, like Israel, El Salvador is a very small country. No, I can hear Israel. Oh, Israel. Yeah. The country Israel and El Salvador. You want like you can see a like and unlike, you know, like Texas, Alaska is a large state. Unlike Hawaii, Texas is a large country. Next we have different and difference. Difference is a noun. Different is an adjective. Mm. 
We often say difference between or different from. This is very important, la diferencia. Difference and different, okay? So what is difference is a noun. Different is an adjective. So look, Alaska and Hawaii are different. Alaska is different from Hawaii. Now, Alaska and Hawaii have many differences. What is the difference between Alaska and Hawaii? Everything. The size, the weather, the people. And now let me tell you here. Let me give you the second part. When the second part. Yes. Now we say yet. Yet we can say we can use yet to mean but Alaska is big, yet it has a small population. Unlike El Salvador, El Salvador is small, yet it has a large population. We can also use however in these ways. Alaska is big. However, it has a small population. Alaska is big. However, it has a small population. Teacher. Yes. So yet, um, I mean, I know that yet means todavía. Mm -hmm. But when, or is there a rule? Uh, no, it's only those. Yet. yet is when something is not finished, or but I see the but. Okay. De hecho, se puede decir, I am finished, yet I still have to wait for the phone call. So, we can use yet instead of but in all the uses for but. No, only in this case. When you are when you are um, giving information about something. Okay. And however, like Alaska is big, however, it has a small population. I think um, El Salvador is going the right direction. I think El Salvador is going the right direction. However, there are many haters. Correct? Yes. Yes. You, you don't need to be a politician to realize that, hey, all the Mareros are in jail. That's awesome. You know, that's, you know. Si hubiera sido el frente o arena, le hubiera aplaudido. I mean, anything, but this is the best solution. But yet, however, <laughs> I haters, they say, no, that doesn't, no, 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 no. You know? Saben que esta, si ustedes tienen Facebook, métanse aquí a Grammar in Use. Ahí van a ver todas esas cosas. Es muy buena. Ok. Y lo siento, fíjense, realmente no pensé que no me dejó ni Zoom publicar tantas cosas, me imagino, por derechos. <risa> Pero métanse a Facebook. Así se llama esa Grammar in Use. De hecho, les voy a enseñar cómo es el logo. 
You have Facebook, correct? Yes, I am looking up for that page right now, but... It's this one, look. Let's see. Do you see my do you see my Facebook? No, I only see the the no. word the word page. Oh hold on, hold on. Um, All right, do, do you see it now? Oh grammar in, in use, yes. I was looking yeah. at it. So look, you do this, for example, useful adjectives. You click here, a ver más, and look, here it gives you all the examples. Do you see that? Look, for example, Difficult and special cases with uncountable nouns. Uno, ¿Están viendo dónde está mi manita? Apreté uno, ver más. Ahí sale todo. Okay. I didn't find it. It's this, look, grammar, English grammar in use. Yeah, I think that that you gotta put the whole name English grammar in use because I was trying just with grammar in use and I couldn't find it. But now I did it with the whole name and I got it. Yes, do it with a complete name because si ponen English grammar, lo vas a hacer bastante. Ah, sí. Do you, did you find it now? Yes, same fun. All right, cool. When, whenever, you know, in vez de estar viendo TikTok, <laughs> things like that, start reading this. It's very interesting. Right. Plenty of, I can say a while I have plenty of time. It's very, very me encanta eso. O sea, todas las herramientas que uno tiene hoy en día, ¿verdad? Amounts and quantities. Miren esto, qué bonito. Y ahí está toda la explanation. Lo que yo les recomiendo es que, por ejemplo, solo estudien un tema al día, si es que lo van a hacer, pero no, no empiecen, no, o sea, no, no agarren esto de Oh, voy a hacer 20 hoy. No, solo uno al día. O sea, porque eso es solo para conocimiento. Tag questions. ¿Se acuerdan de tag question? A statement. Yes. Look, did you? Ok, ok, class. Ahí les dejo eso. Está muy, muy buena. Como les digo, aprovechenlo. Super chiva. Me encanta esa, esa página. Yo la Thank uso de en cuanto. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a very, very important. Y ojalá no me jalen el aire por eso. Pero... Yeah, but, um, but it's important. So that, that's the important part. Okay? Cool. Thank you very much. Have a very good weekend. I see you Monday, all right? Good night. Yes. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye.